Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About Me. In this session, I'm going to tell you something about executing a for each loop activity in parallel. Okay, uh, if you go to this documentation page, uh, you will see limitations and work around at the end of the page. Okay, I'm going to talk about the third one, which is nothing but we cannot use a set variable activity inside a for each loop if it's intended to run parallelly. Okay. I will show you uh, what happens when we are going to use a set variable okay so and and then i will tell you why we should not use it all right so i have a pipeline where i have an array okay like this you might have uh, your own array or you might get a set of files to be looped on the uh, use case can be anything okay but uh, the requirement is we need to loop through a certain array in parallel fashion okay so if you look here right my i'm sorry i'll just move a little bit i have a numbers array which is of a uh, numbers array which which is having numbers okay from 1 to 51 these many numbers i have in sequence what my requirement is i need to add one number to each of these array element okay so after my pipeline is run what i am expecting is to one i should add one and it will become two similarly to each number in my array i will add one to it and uh, I, I want to see the num resultant values as 2 to 52 okay after adding one to each of the array element for this i am using a for each loop pointing to my numbers array all right and it is running in parallel it's not sequential i'm, I'm not checking it so uh, this is going to run in parallel all right inside the for each loop what i'm doing i'm using a set variable activity against the recommendation here let's see what happens so what i'm doing in the set variable i'm just getting the current item from for each loop and adding one to it how do i do it i'm just converting the item to integer because the item is of type string and i'm converting it to integer before adding one to it okay and finally after adding one to the number i'm converting it into string uh, again and assigning it to one more variable called next number okay so um, I'm, I'm going to pick up numbers in parallel i'm going to add one to each of those number and, and i'm going to insert it into a um, <coughs> copy data i mean insert it into a azure sql table using copy data activity my source is a dummy source and i have added one additional column okay to this additional column what we need to do is uh, we need to access the variable that is next number okay so i am going to write this next number expecting that i will be seeing 2 to 52 in my resultant uh, table all right so this is my source sync will be as your sql table mapping uh, remains quite simple i'm just mapping the additional column to the column in my table okay so rest of all i'm not uh, touching anything i'm just running the pipeline now and uh, let the pipeline run i'm going to show you what data is there in my table test for it it doesn't have any data now let us wait for the pipeline to uh, finish let me go to the hierarchical mode so set variable is all done copy data is being executed let's see Let, let's give a uh, few seconds to it it will be done so pipeline is uh, done now it has executed now let me check the count here so affected rows are 51 i had 1 to 51 in my uh, source array and uh, the numbers uh, total numbers are 51 in my table also i see there are 51 numbers but if i uh, do one more thing like i want to select a uh, distinct star from test for each I do a distinct uh, star okay I just have one column I'm doing a distinct star if you see here there are only few numbers here and if the if you see the messages only eight distinct rows are there out of 51 uh, records okay all the other records are duplicate so why this happens that is the uh, uh, reason why we are uh, why we are not asked to use set variable inside a for each loop which runs in parallel what happens is uh, the set variable activity that we have here right uh, this is not accessed um, uh, locally the scope of this variable uh, that is being referred in the set variable right which, which is the next number the scope of this variable is at pipeline level it is not confined to the for each loop for each loop doesn't control 
the uh, scope of uh, pipe scope of the variable but the pipeline controls so we cannot decide which thread picks up which uh, variable in uh, at which point in time okay uh, there is a possibility that uh, uh, different executions pick up the same number from the array okay that is why we cannot control how uh, the records are being picked up in a parallel mode in for each loop okay coming back to the documentation now uh, set variable cannot be used inside a for each activity that runs in parallel as the variables are global to the whole pipeline that's what i mentioned now they are not scoped to a for each or any other activity if you have come from uh, SSIS background, right? We have different scopes to the variables: uh, package level scope, uh, container level scope, task level scope. But uh, here it's not the case. That's why we have to be very careful uh, while we design the pipeline uh, with the for each loop to run in parallel. Okay. If there is no uh, set variable activity, this is going to work. Paka. I'm going to remove this set variable now, and I'll delete the records from here. And then I'm going to copy activity. And in the additional, I'm not going to refer my variable. Instead, I'm just going to access my item here. Okay. And I'm going to do whatever I did it in the variable. I'm going to convert it into string after adding one to it. So item, I will add one to it and then we will convert it into string. Let me see how it works now. I will run the pipeline again. There is no set variable now. Let us see how it goes. So pipeline is done now. Let us go to the table and have a look at uh, the data now. So I am just selecting the records. So we see affected rows is 51. Let me check the distinct count now. Uh, number of uh, distinct records is 51 okay so if you see the result also we will have the numbers getting incremented in order from 1 to uh, 50 okay so now let me export it and see as well uh, so i exported uh, the numbers from the table so if you look here we have the numbers from 2 up to 52 so this is just a demo to show you how a parallel for each loop works when we have a set variable activity okay so if, if you are going to uh, design something uh, in parallel and you have to use set variable activity think twice make it sequential okay that is what is recommended in the page as well consider using the sequential for each consider using sequential for each or use execute pipeline inside for each and uh, you have the set variable in the child pipeline so there are only two options available one is to uh, you make it sequential make the for each loop sequential otherwise um, uh, take the logic to the child pipeline and call that pipeline using execute pipeline activity so that's all with me for this video hope you understood what i try to say uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for watching keep supporting